the most exciting casting in the world. Oh boy. I don't even talk to my team unless we talk on stream. Give us the insight and analysis about uh, UCB. Are you going to talk with me? Yes. Good, good. I'm getting kind of lonely if it was just me. Well, we're ready, right? Yeah, we're ready. So what's what's CCE? What does it stand for? Now enter. Uh, Champlain Kingsville. College. I don't know what College. the I, right. I don't know what the E stands for. I I don't know where they're from. Someone in the states, probably. It looks like uh, Berkeley wants to run the dive comp with the Zen. And the early Hanzo picks uh, right off the bat. See so if we can get any picks. I'm going to switch off something to complement the dive. Going to put a stop to your illegal activities. So, see, you're going to run you know, a triple tank. Solid comp deal with the dive. The hog's going to be pretty good dealing with the wind when he dives in. So how do you feel about the uh, triple DPS? Um, the deal is pretty solid. Um, I don't think I've actually seen it with this kind of comp. Uh, Style's probably going to switch to Mercy, um, Fire or something to complement the Mercy. But um, I think triple DPS is pretty solid. King's Rail first point works really well for Fire too. I know the bad experience with the Berkeley's Fire Mercy wasn't really good. Alright, so you see the sonic arrow from the some style, and then we're really switching off to the Fara. Line running the the, the McCree actually instead of a, another kind of chaser come the dive. Style is just dominating on the Diva. The Diva just dived in by herself and I got soloed, and uh, you see, uh, see the defense is just falling apart here. Can't really deal with the Berkeley's dive pump. As soon as their D.Va fell, they just kind of fell back and got picked off. Yeah, D.Va's really important in dealing with the Farah. As you can see here, but the, the Farah wasn't exactly shooting at their team, so I don't really see the point in uh, immediately diving off to the Farah. and should have stayed back with team. You can see uh, Berkeley's just, just trying to get a uh, better position here to stagger the other team. Uh, you can see the Reinhardt's really, really staggered for it. He was taking a lot of damage. Move to the beat. They also have like, like such very little ult percentage built up that I'm not sure how they're going to hold this at all. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Oh, that hook landing onto the, the, the open Genji there. They're still getting pushed back so hard and the line gets so to the double. Um, just not getting any position here. Like, uh, Berkeley's just throwing their ults at them and they're still having the ult advantage. We we'll only need to see uh, the CCUS start to get their their ults up and try to hold the foundry position, uh, foundry portion of the of the Nice But again, you see Berkeley is already kind of holding on to their ults as well. Even after throwing them, they still have sort of an ult advantage. 
and style picking off a fine height there. Berkeley's dive comp just working so well, even with McCree. Looks like a CZ just really can't deal with the pressure exerted from them. Yeah, at this point it's kind of more a McCree, or the Winston jumps in and then keeps them at bay. And the other two carries just pile on him. And the interesting is like, again, Brickley still has four ults, even after throwing ult after ult. They're getting the ult so fast, and it's just way faster than the CC is. You know, they just, just do five ults at them, four ults at them, and you just easily win this portion. Mercy still has the res, so... And CCE tried to throw back, back some ults at them, but it just didn't work out. Uh, mechanically outplayed my Berkeley. Score zero to three. Switching sides. Four thirty three is also a lot of time to work with if we go into overtime. So CC will have to really set a decent time. Cause I think at any point if they don't set a time close to that, Berkeley can just do a dive comp again, and we saw how well that went in the first time they pushed. Interesting to see if uh, Berkeley's actually going to run the, the Barista Torp strat, or the Barista just protect the Torp turret. Haven't seen that much, but something new and probably really interesting to watch. And I hope they actually put it off, put it off properly, because I'm not sure if you watched last night, but in the monthly melee, a team tried it on Volskaya and failed horribly and lost first point within 30 seconds. It was oh. quite a disaster. <laughs> I, have big plans I know, I know, Rick, uh, Rickley is really mechanically strong, so we'll have to see if they can just, even if the strat isn't exactly that, that great, you can probably out. I mechanically play them. With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. And I don't think this McCree or uh, Hanzo pick will stick around, but maybe it will. Uh, he's still in spawn, though. Genji's still in spawn. And uh, <laughs> running one healer, and that's the Lucio, but they have a Sombra for the health packs. But I guess they are sticking with the Hanzo. Defend objective A. That is, uh, quite bold. I'm just jabbing onto, onto, onto a line down on the but... Ooh, the turret's actually doing a lot of work here. Just trying to get a bit low and landing with a single healer who can't really keep up with the, with the health. The, uh, two picks already happened, but a line... Pulling it back with uh, two of his own picks. Yeah, they're not Isn't dealing with the scatter arrow very well. They did. They were able to get CCE, or they were able to get Berkeley off the high ground, but not dealing with the Hanzo just destroyed them. Oh, well, it's the uh, good thing they're not picking off the line. Kill Road popping off on the far end, but Ripley's other members is killing off the, the main attackers. CCE just aren't getting the trades that they need. They're getting two picks, but then Berkeley is getting three or four, and they just, just have to keep resetting fights. Let's see on the Mercy, and that really gimps them. See if they want to run out. Here. You have my thanks. You know, running, running, no shields into a turret it's kind of kind of hurts. No, no, no Max Mori getting the big onto a pile. Into McCree. See, the Mercy's just just dying. 
Yeah, she appears to get, be, keep getting out of position and... Do we have no shields to deal with that turret? I think Mercy's holding on to the, the, the res for a while now. She's coming first to get moved and pop it off. Yeah, she got it just before that fight that we just saw, but... She... I don't know if she can use it, because... They have McCreel, they're going to have Hanzo ult again, shortly, and they're going to have EMP. There's just so much zoning potential from UC Berkeley. At this point, it's like, running around better, you know? Hold off both of them, go create the turrets. Something to deal with. Deal with it instead of just diving in and dying. And like you saw there, as soon as they get res, they just get wiped because of EMP. They have no res ult ability. Oh, they're going to they're going for a Widow, try to deal with the turret, but no, the Rissa's shield's just blocking the turret off. And if you try to like, out-snipe the a line there, you can see the line just getting the pick right off the bat. CC trying to work away, and Sombra's right behind them. So, Tactus, uh, this thing just fell apart. Berkeley trying to spawn camp them, buy them enough time. That's a good line, still putting in work on the Hanzo. Triple kill right there. And you're just sitting at spawn. So you can do the deal with the Hanzo. So, he takes map one. Final score. Zero to three. Radar. and having the turret do everything. Really solid play there by Berkeley. You can see if uh, CCE's map pick can uh, do anything for them or if they just lose mechanically to, to aligned on the Hanzo. The issue is what can they pick? Because I would be scared to go into a King of the Hill against Berkeley. So maybe payload or worse yet, two CP. But I think I think a payload map or two CP could maybe no, work out for them. Li Jiang. No, Li Jiang, they're just gonna probably run the dive right on right on to the CCE. So the next map will be Li Jiang, as decided by CCE. So Marco, from your experience, playing against UCB, going to Lijong Tower, what can we expect? Winston diving onto your supports, amazing sleeps from uh, the Ana player, they're going to run Ana. It's not very pleasant. Garden just going to run Farm Mercy and, and kill everyone. Um, yeah, I just, I just remember getting dumpstered, not be able to, getting a proper uh, Hold on to any maps. What maps did you guys play? Uh, it was King's Row, Li Jiang, uh, I think King's Row we definitely could have done better. We ran triple tank, but uh, these 
dived against us and we fell apart. Couldn't get any foothold on any position, uh, any portions of the king. So, unfortunate. Could have done better for sure. He's got outplayed. So it was almost identically the same map pool as played here? Pretty, pretty, pretty much. So we, we ran Eichenwald second, but... Is this, is this best of three? Yeah. If you see one more map pool, see it will be Berkeley's pick. That actually happens. I'll be... Now arriving at Mijang Tower. A lot of people are saying that UCB can take this easily. Like Select your hero. They will, with beyond a shadow, they will be in uh, the promotions next week. But there could be an upset. You never know. Uh, I'm pretty confident in Berkeley. You know, being the test of champions. I know it was previous patch, but I don't think they're exactly falling behind. Alright, see how they actually gonna run the Arisa's Arisa really strong on this uh on, on Garden here. You know, camps camps right behind the bridge, you know, throws the orb and pulls people off. And Why wait for yeah. grab vault when you can just grab someone with a right click? Exactly. I'm, only, I'm interested to see if they're actually gonna run the Sombra here. They're running a single so uh, Lucio Five, healing. Four, three, now the, the, the change one. Change in his healing has been a bit good, but his range has been reduced significantly. Oh, uh, but they're looks like they're actually gonna run the solo heal Lucio. Probably gonna do Sombra health pass. Oh, and she almost oh, just got booped off. Almost, but right, she's getting picked off right away. Uh, CCE running the dive. Uh, Joyce just jumps off. And like the previous match there. Can't get any kind of picks or footholds against the uh, Ripley here. At this point, they're actually just spawn camping them, having a single person on each cap the point. Yeah, it's uh, quite the M, in all honesty. Oh, the works, the works. Bruce in here trying to 1v1 the tracer. They're switching off into a push comp instead of rather uh, having the wins in here. No line getting getting two picks right, right there and looks like a CCE's push is going to be soft there. CCE's Pharaoh is getting decent damage on the line, but recall basically mitigated all of that. Well, with the, these two picks from CC, you see if they can be able to cap capitalize on it. Summer up oh, uh, comes right off. Mercy's kind of in a bad position here behind the Genji. You can see uh, the Chouster able to get a pick on the Mercy and doing significant damage. And it looks like those two picks from the beginning, CC cannot capitalize on it. Someone's back capping, but I'm not really sure how effective that can be with line tracer. Well, they, was, they were able to pull, uh, pull three back, but red team uh, CC is still kind of staggered here. They really can't do much, even with the with three of the Berkeley members pulled back. Marissa drops the bongo. Sombra pops her off, then so it's probably gonna be another team wipe here. Yep. So that's uh, point one, John. So at that point, it's probably really hard to deal with. The Ripley's always going to have all the benches getting kill after kill. Um, probably needed to see them push up more, uh, more confidently to Reinhardt, but then again, Tracer just pops the ult and uh, up to take on to Grendel. It looks like Berkeley's going to go back to the dive with uh, Zenyatta. 
or not. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna stick up the Bastion here? The Bastion. That would be kinda... There's a lot of damage, but you gotta protect him properly. He does have the Arista Shield to hide behind. And they do have a Reaper. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes for them. The line actually gets flashbang and stalled. It's like a... CCE might be able to take this point here, oh, but Chester getting <laughs> popping off on the Genji, getting two picks right there. The Bastion himself getting another two picks, and it looks like um, looks like CCE just by getting the first two picks just falls apart. They're kind of just ignoring the Bastion and going for kills on low ground, but they should have tried to focus on the high ground. I mean, the Bastion is just protected by the, by the shield. He needs to get better positioning there. Really unfortunate for them. Oh, Max Mori landing the hook but missing the shot. Summer does end up dying though. It looks like you can see the CCE going, going the high ground and trying to push the Bastion off the... Off the they off do the get the high there. ground, but... You know, Pastion just repositions himself. He wrecks shield. At this point you can see CCE is getting a better positioning, getting the picks they need to they take the point. They actually take out the Bastion. Oh, Lucio is still up. But... I already capped the points so at this point now. Ripley probably just needs to reposition here. Tracer bomb not doing anything. Summer's all popping off landing. Landing on a few people here. The Chester pops off as a dragon blade and see if you can get more than one pick here. Bastion just shredding the Shane Reinhardt shield. Looks like Styles Bastion is really, really putting in work here. Now, uh, now Berkeley can, can spawn camp the, the first choke here. And with the, with an Arista and a Bastion, it's gonna be really hard to push in with the shield. The Bastion's just deciding not to off, uh, not to pull the choke there, deciding to get the, the high ground right over the point. CC is uh, rotating onto onto white room. Get the like hyper advantage. But they get stuck and oh, the dead eye comes out, but doesn't get anyone. <laughs> that was all thing in this be a one v six or three v six here, and see <laughs> gets three picks right off the bat. And it looks like um, CC despite having popping those alts, unable to get significant progress. At this point, I think a Diva might be even better here to block all the Barista and Bastion spam. Yeah. They tried going for the Rotator. Oh, 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 oh the bloop! <laughs> and then they get the... Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's, that's the problem of going outside. You got both of them. Arissa probably killing you and Alucio booping you. Very well played by Kyle F. Baiting the CC it's coming outside with Bastion and knocking them off. He's just running, running whatever they, they feel like they want to and see if they're actually going to stick with this um, so, uh, solo queue quick play comp. The Junkrat, the Hanzo, the Sombra. I hear this comp is actually how Ronald got top 100. <laughs> okay, running no tanks again. This is pretty good. Yeah. I don't think it'll actually, match is gonna work. CC already has the point on the hold there. Getting picks onto the jump rat. Yeah, I would hope they would switch off this uh, 
Whatever you would call this composition. Ultimate quick play cop. This must be a Widowmaker. And here, so we're trying to get some picks here. And Sombra already has her ult, popping it off right on, right into right into the CC's team. Berkeley actually did significant damage onto 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 CCE, but CCE is a tank comp. CCE is too tank; they can't finish them off easily with just the whatever Berkeley comps running. Tyre gets no one. And he said Reinhardt gets triple. Oh, a double and the and the tire. So at this point you start wondering whether Berkeley continue wants to continue running this comp. You can see that he really switched off. Running the Winston and the, the Hog instead. Still running that solo heal. We have faith in the in the summer healing enough and surprisingly enough we managed to take the point. Yeah, the style landed the right pipes, and they were just able to retake. You can see because of the, uh, the switch, uh, CCE had the ult advantage, but Brickley aligned, landing the hook and dropping the, the hog right off the point. CCE's gonna have to back off a bit here. With three ults from CCE and, and the Earth Shatter almost up. We're gonna see if they can take the point back from Brickley. Again with the summer ult, just blocking, uh, like, just blocking CC from using any of their ults. But uh, kill right there, two, double barrage kill. And with that, CC is able to take, um, take the point from Berkeley using three of their ults. I think that CCE is having with these retakes constantly from Berkeley is they're giving them too much room. They're staying too close to the point and not trying to go out and get kills. Yeah, we can see, like, despite taking the point right there, they're all very low. They didn't, weren't able to push out and try and gain uh, control of the courtyard. Berkeley just, just ran right back in. Tyre's not going to get anyone. He's just going to pop their sound barrier to keep the, the teammate alive. But despite that, Berkeley just gets uh, two of their own kills. They are able to contest the point here. But with the Winston ult and uh, it being a 3v, well, 3v0 now, it doesn't look like they're able to hold on to this map. And I'll let possibly be the set point here. Hell, that's going for the sneaky boot there, but game's over. Really well played by Brickley there. Not really uh, letting uh, CCE get hold of the, the point properly. No, watch Cal's uh, nice boot. He's actually riding all the way up there. <laughs> what a boot! Oh my god! And the emote. For maximum BM. Environmental kill. Three, three from that. Really nice play there. Twenty-one enemies EMP. See the Sombra actually getting a lot of the uh, a lot of alt, alts off and actually getting value out of it.